Hello, my name is Andy DeCourt, and it's my privilege to serve as the pastor at Phoenix Christian Reformed Church. This midweek devotional is an extra connection at a time when our connections are well, somewhat limited. This week, the elders met. Among other things, we discussed and reviewed our summer small groups, as well as our interactive congregational prayer that we've done a couple times in late July and then again on September 6. Both of them were well received and we found both of them to be valuable ways to stay connected, both connected to each other and connected to God and we'll, we'll continue doing both of them. Last week I shared 1 Corinthians 12 verse 27. Now you are the body of Christ and each one of you are a part of it. But of course, it's hard for some of us to feel that way when our relationships are so disjointed. We, we feel distanced, maybe disconnected. Maybe even we feel like our, some of our relationships are damaged. We're, we're distanced by masks and other physical distancing. We're disconnected when our relationships are, don't have the usual avenues that, of, of keeping connected. And being disconnected can make us edgy, and being disconnected and edgy can, can damage our relationships. If we read, read that verse, now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. We can see that if our relationships are damaged, then the body of Christ is damaged. And if each one of us is a part of the body, well, then each one of us is damaged when our relationships are damaged. We who are the body of Christ, we need to know each other. Can you imagine if your hand and your eye didn't know each other and, and didn't communicate? Man, talk about a hand-eye coordination problem. It would be off the charts. In the elder meeting, we reviewed the evaluations that were turned in following the, the, the small groups. And including They included this question. Do you know the people in your small group better than you did previously? Are you, are you better connected? I wanted to share some of, the, some of the responses that people shared. Yes, I do know the people in my group better now. I feel connected to them in a much bigger way. I can honestly say, I don't think I knew any of them in a personal way. Great, yes, another person wrote. Absolutely, no people better, a deeper level of understanding. People particularly men, being willing to be vulnerable is refreshing and at the very least helps us with the fear that you're the only one who doesn't have it all figured out. Yes, I do know my group better and feel more connected. Yes. Yes, much better. Yes. Yes, it was great to get to know more people in the church. Love hearing everyone's faith journey and more about who they are. I learned about how and when Jesus was accepted into their hearts. Yes, I learned about backgrounds and current activities that members of the group are involved in. Yes, many things about our testimonies and how we came to Christ. Yes, yes, some people I had met and a couple people I hadn't met, but I felt like I got to know people a little bit more. I learned about people's life situations and personalities. What a great list! While biblical teaching and prayer and the sermons were all important, relationships are especially important in this season. Staying connected to God and to one another is crucial. And the small groups were really important in doing that. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. So I invite each of you to sign up for our next round of small groups. They'll be starting in a couple weeks, the week of October 4. You might meet new people. You might be in a small group with lots of people that you already know. But regardless, you're invited to be in the body of Christ here at Phoenix Christian Reformed Church with each one of you to be a part of it. So follow the link to the survey about your small group preferences for the days and times that work best for you. I know the summer might have been a little bit more relaxed for a lot of us. Things might be a little more challenging now, but we'll just do our best. We'll certainly do our best to match up people with the, the preferences that they provide. If you want to be in the same small group you were in the summer, that, that's certainly an option. I know a lot of the small groups had such a great time. They met even after their small groups were officially 
finished, even when the material was done, because they had that much of a good time being connected to one another. So praise God for forming us into the body of Christ, for making each one of us a part of it. If you can respond to the survey in the next week or so, that'll make planning for the next small groups even easier for us. Enjoy the rest of your week.